Hello, my beautiful loves. Jay here with your Spring Equinox reading. These are energies that you're going to be feeling throughout this Spring Equinox. Moving forward, Spring Equinox begins tomorrow, March 19th, 2024. And we're going to hop right in to our messages. As you see, I've already chosen three messages for you. So you can take a moment to pause this video or take a deep breath and choose message one, two, three, or any message that resonates with you in this moment. And we're going to hop right into message one. Okay. All right. Message one here. Things are about to get really juicy during this spring equinox the universe says a little heads up on an addiction that afflicts all really old souls giving love eventually becomes an even greater need than receiving love see you're not see you're not strange love the universe things are about to get juicy for you dance with life do something to change your energy during this equinox as well and i love spring and i'm a spring baby Pisces energy here. Um, I love spring because it is um, a new, it's a new energy of things beginning to blossom. And that's just not the things that are blossoming in nature, but an energy of you blossoming as well, changing your life, creating new starts and feeling a lot of creativity that is coming up for you. A lot of freedom. Some of you may decide to actually take up dance. Some of you may begin to travel more. You're just opening up to something that's really beautiful and grand. I love this energy. The energy is gaining momentum during this equinox as well. Okay, so keep flying high. Okay, keep flying high. I'm hearing you deserve all the good that is coming towards you. Okay, flow like water. I love these messages. Um, this is just how I pulled them and they just all sort of work together. Flow like water. So it feels like a very free flowing energy that you're going to be in during the spring equinox as you're um, navigating your daily life and trying new things, new starts on new projects, new job for some of you. I'm even hearing money coming in. I'm hearing a promotion for some of you as well. So there's a lot of beautiful things on the horizon. So flow like the water. And what you can work on is your communication, your self-expression, exchange, your um, exchange, exchange, sharing connection. Okay, so this is not only your communication with others. This is communication with your, your divine team. Really meditate, getting into meditation and prayer and really tuning into that inner self. What is your inner self saying to you? What is it calling you to do? What is next? What is seeking to emerge within you? Those are questions that you can ponder upon and answer yourself. This card is the number 34, as you can see, that breaks down to a seven. So this is all about connection. So you, some of you are going to be really expanding on your daily practice, really taking meditation seriously, your prayer seriously, your workout regimens, really taking time to tune in to what makes you happy and what brings you peace is most important during this spring equinox. Let's pull a few tarot for you. We have the chariot. Look at that. Moving on, moving forward, moving across something, moving away. I feel like something is fading away. So if you have been experiencing any negativity, emotions, people around you, it feels like things are fading away and you're moving away from what no longer is meant for you, what no longer serves you on this portion of your journey. This is what I'm feeling. Some of you may even be purchasing a new car um, as well. But at the end of the day, whatever this is, I'm feeling um, a very beautiful momentum that's being created for you because remember flowing like the water the energy is gaining momentum dance with life so this is about you being in the flow some of you are on your way to stardom whatever that looks like for you okay so it feels like something is going to take off the five of cups is here pisces cancer scorpio energy it feels like some of you have been holding on to some things and now this is an opportunity to go with the momentum because you have been going up against it 
and you have been pushing it away and spirit is asking you to now be in the flow of things because things are going to be beginning to flow like the water towards you the things that don't belong to you is flowing away from you also when we think of water we think of emotion as well is that water turbulent is it calm what does that water look like? What are you feeling in your internal world? Okay, so whatever you've been holding on to, disappointment, regret, um, uh, fears, any of that, dissatisfaction with life, that is falling away and flowing like the water. We also have the Eight of Swords. So this definitely lets me know that you have been feeling some sort of way about something or someone, and it has been a bit tumultuous for you. And you have experienced a lot of emotions and thoughts around this, and now it is time for you to come out of that. The spring is going to be spring equinox, and this new spring season is going to be opening opening you up to a variety, I'm hearing, a variety of things, expanding you in ways that you have couldn't even imagine. One more card here, Ace of Wands. Look at that inspiration that is coming in, power, control. When I say control, you're only in control of your thoughts and you're, you're, you're in control of your thoughts, that's for sure, your actions and your reactions. But this is a new time, a beginning for you to create something new, a divine spark that is coming up for you during this equinox. And this energy is the most primal of the energies of expression. So this is an opportunity for you to manifest, to speak into existence what you want and expect that to be returned to you or expect that to be given to you okay so this is a time where you really delve into your passions and your desires releasing the fear of the unknown and really just step in, into an energy that is just beyond what you feel your power is okay so this is a very powerful magnetic time you're tuning into so much energy here okay that is message one Message two, you are adored, the universe says. Don't be fooled by players and don't be fooled by yourself. There's no one more lovable nor, nor love than you. And I know everyone, precious, the universe. Okay, so you are adored. If you have not been feeling that, know that the universe adores you and wants to bless you with beautiful gifts. We also have the crumbling. What are you clinging on to is what spirit is asking. What are you clinging on to? Some of you are holding on to negativity, negative energies. Um, some of you are stressed and I'm feeling overwhelmed with so many things that's on your plate. But what are you cling clinging on to? What is the outcome from what you are constantly investing your energy into? What do you expect from the outcome to be? Is it exactly what you want do you do you you know you have a knowing that the outcome is going to be exactly what you set out to be what is it that you're holding on to a time to give rather than to take okay let's get this clear for you a time to give rather than take so I feel like this is energy of you giving to yourself given to nature given to the universe and that comes with your divine beings also being in gratitude is what she's saying to me as well so time for you to give to yourself rather than to take and in a, in a time for you to let go of things you can connect with the earth which i love this okay so some of you are needing to definitely get grounded which is very very important for you so spending some time outdoors spending some time in in solitude so that you can actually hear your thoughts so that you can understand what rock what thoughts are relevant and what art aren't what needs to be let go of of what you've been holding on to some of you are needing to also connect with crystals as well or take this spring equinox and um, the, there's going to be a lunar 
uh, partial lunar eclipse in Libra that's happening on March 25th, which is going to give you an opportunity to take your crystals and cleanse them as well so that you can reactivate them, carry them with you on a day-to-day -day basis. So take advantage of this time during the spring equinox, March 19th, and then the 25th of March, that lunar eclipse in Libra is definitely going to be powerful. And we know the sign of Libra is all about balance. So this is a time for you to get grounded. Throat chakra card is here. So this is letting us know that this is an opportunity for you to communicate your needs and your wants and your de desires into the universe, but not only asking for things to come to you, not think, not asking, not just asking for the blessings to come to fruition, also speaking out, speaking out to the universe on the things that you are grateful for. The, the moments in life that have taught you the lessons that you needed to learn in order to reach another phase of enlightenment. Okay, so this is an opportunity for you to be in gratitude. Let's pull some tarot. The devil. Okay, some of you have been tempted by people and things, addictions, or whatever this is that you've been tied to. Remember, we have the crumbling here. What are you clinging to? This is devil energy. What are you holding on to? That spirit is trying to tell you that it no longer serves you in this journey. And we're trying to open up the universe for you. We're trying to open up for your life, open your life up so that you could feel a sense of peace and happiness. And really tap into um, that unknown place in, in your life or that void that some of you may be feeling. But there's something that you're holding on to that you either are continually uh, creating patterns and cycles in your life. This is definitely something to think about, okay? Because there feels like, it feels like if you are, if you put yourself in a position to connect with nature, some of these answers that you have been seeking are going to be revealed to you because it feels like whatever cycle or pattern that you have been in, something has been bogging you down, keeping your mind foggy. Um, and it's it's also an energy or entity that could be holding you back from really moving to the next level. And that's definitely uh, relevant, especially here on this third dimensional plane here where people can speak spells onto you um, or you are just keeping yourself tied to people who don't really have your best interest at heart and uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of per perception being um, spewed I guess upon you like I, I feel like you have to get to the layers of who you are I feel like you may have been living someone else's story or living someone else's um, life or trying to live their life or trying to live up to something when it isn't really who you are. So there's going to be a lot of things that may be exposed to you during the spring equinox and moving forward. So be open to that, of letting go of that darkness. If you have been feeling heavy, this is your confirmation that something has has gotten a hold of you. Energies, entities, whatever this is, that has been bogging you down. I'm also hearing some of you have been very lethargic as well, fatigued, maybe even ill at times because things are um, attached to you. We have the Empress. So we have two major arcanas here. So there is opportunity for growth. There's opportunity for uh, creating luxury in your life, bringing beauty into your space, nurturing yourself as well. Um, I'm hearing from her that things do not have to be that complicated. Okay, so it feels like some of you may be self-sabotaging, maybe thoughts that you may be holding on to. And keep in mind that thoughts your thoughts can also create entities as well okay because in because it's energy those thoughts become energy becomes the thing that it manifests into energy and it that's something that can hold you back so that this empress is letting you know that there's an opportunity to move past that and to live a very abundant and fruitful life but she's also reminding you that you need to get out and reconnect in nature okay connect with the earth is very important We have the Five of Swords coming up for you. So definitely you have been battling yourself or battling other people, which has made it hard. 
I'm hearing someone or something has been deterring you from your ultimate goal. And for some of you, this may just be thoughts that are coming up, those thoughts that have created an entity that is pulling you back and holding you down if you're feeling a sense of heaviness. The next card is the Three of Swords. So there's been a back and forth, and some of you have been feeling a sense of sadness. Stagnation is what I'm feeling here. Even I'm feeling like a, a, nauseous, a nauseous feeling too. So some of you have been having going through some health issues or there are things that are literally making you sick to your stomach. I'm also picking up anxiety for this angst for you guys. It feels like your body is trying to give you signs on what isn't right for you. And some of you may not be paying attention to what you're feeling in your physical body. That's your intuition. That's your guides and your angels trying to um, help you receive the answers to respond as well so that you can let let go of whatever you're holding on to or make the right decision when you're feeling something internally that's off. That is definitely your clock saying, no, this isn't right for you. Run the other direction, okay? So sadness is definitely coming up for you, feeling like some of you have been rained on, okay? You have been, you know, dumped on. This is why it feels like with that devil energy, like a, vamp a vampire energy of something sucking at you. Okay, Spirit said, look at the bottom of the deck here. We have the Four of Swords, which is definitely you need to rest. Okay, you definitely need to take some time away and rest and contemplate about where you want your life to go because you definitely are in a new phase and some of you are preventing yourself from moving forward because you're just sort of stuck in the energy and stuck in other people's energy. So some of you may be very empathic as well. So that is message two. All right, and message three. The universe says karma is on your side. If you could read all the minds that I read, hear all the prayers that I hear, and beat all the hearts that I beat, I wonder if you'd even believe how often you're thought of, talked about, and falling in love with. This, it's payback time. Andale, andale, the universe. Okay, so karma is on your side. And remember, karma is something that you create. So be very clear about and be very intentional about what kind of karma you're wanting to return to you. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Okay, so all of my light workers out there, make sure that you're getting grounded because maybe you might find your, yourself head in the clouds and not really living here in the physical realm. So spirit is asking you to get grounded. Balancing the two out is most important. Some of you are needing to delve into meditation a little bit more or even just acts of self-care of really tuning into yourself. Could be even journaling for some of you or just going out into nature and being in solitude and creating some peace and calm around you, getting in silence. Expect powerful change that is definitely coming up for you. Especially, look at this is a new moon eclipse and I told you, well, if you listen to message two on March 25th, we do have a partial lunar eclipse that's coming up in Libra. And this is all about power and know that the spring equinox is a whole new season. So that brings in a whole new energy for some of you as well. This is a time when things are beginning to blossom and that's including the things in your life, your thoughts and your feelings blossom. Okay. Your inner world is blossoming. So expect change to happen. If you have been feeling down and out, expect a change, okay? If you've been feeling positive and optimistic about life, create more of that energy. Family, some of you may decide to spend more time with family or reconnect with family in some sort of way. And this may put you in a place of feeling grounded, okay? Um, receiving that nurturing, that love, that connection with your family sort of gets you back into a place of feeling grounded, feeling like you have, some of you have been feeling like you've been all over the place. So maybe just tuning into that part of your home, okay, that reconnecting sort of brings a good energy, revives your energy in a way. So some of you may be may decide to travel to go see your family, just to sort of um, to reconnect and to also, it's like a reset button for you. Okay, so family is very important during this spring equinox. And then the crown chakra, this definitely reminds me of this get grounded energy here and, and tuning in to the, your high, your high spirit is what I'm hearing. Number 43 breaks down to a number seven. That is a number of connection. If you listen to message one, 
We also talked about the number 34 there, which breaks down to seven, and it was about communication. So I do feel like this is a time for you to really tap in and tune in to that inner self, do your inner work, so that you can really enjoy the remainder of 2024 if you haven't been um, enjoying thus far. Let's pull some tarot for you. We have the strength card coming out, Leo energy. So yeah, I feel like you guys, are, some of you are getting your happy back. You're getting your strength back. You may have been debilitated physically. You may have been down and out emotionally and mentally. And maybe for some of you, you've been sucked dry by some vampires. And spiritually, you have been feeling down and out. But this is an opportunity now for you to move past that energy and find your strength. So you may be finding yourself um, having a little bit more vitality, which is lovely if you've been depleted by other people and other things that have been going on in your daily life you've been through the ups and downs and been through the ringer and now you are expanding your vitality so you may find yourself having more energy during the spring wanting to get out more and be free in the place of gratitude as well and i feel like it's just an energy of wanting to play okay we also have the Page of Cups coming up for you. So this sparks a curiosity for some of you. So what is it that you have been putting off, procrastinating on, or afraid to step into? And, and Spirit is asking you to accept the challenge. Okay, so this is a free-flowing energy as well. So as you're getting grounded, you're tapping into your intuition. Um, and, and for some of you, that youthfulness that some of you have been missing because you have been you have been um, experiencing life <laughs> as a human in, in survival mode and haven't been able to play and there's been a lot piling up on you, bills and responsibilities in general, taking care of things and it's definitely time for you to play a little bit and I'm looking at all of the flowers, um, they may be lotuses on, the, on his outfit <clears throat> or on her outfit, it looks like a guy but the page is usually like a princess or something but it doesn't matter the gender but it's definitely um, you growing and I'm looking at the color pink reminds me of rose quartz so it's all about love and compassion and for self and for others but most importantly for you if you can give compassion to yourself then you can give compassion to others as well so this is a time for you to um, step into something new try it give it a go enjoy it accept the challenge and have fun with it I'm also hearing some of you may even be conceiving. The Queen of Swords is here as well. This is you setting boundaries. You're being open to the so you're you're open to um, doing things differently in life, um, and and it doesn't necessarily have to be just your way. I do feel like an open and receptive energy that is coming in for you. Definitely feels like the the clouds are parting parting. You're you're wiping the, wiping away those tears. You're finding more energy. So maybe you have been in a, a place of feeling depressed and down and out, fatigued, lethargic, because there's just so much that has come down on you. And I do feel like the clouds are parting now. You are speaking your truth. You're really sitting on your throne now with this Queen of Swords, and really taking charge of your life, setting clear boundaries, not people not allowing people to have the things or say the things that they would to you in the past. It does feel like you're just gaining a very, very um, powerful strength here with the Queen of Swords. And we also have the Two of Wands. That does, definitely lets me know that you are planning for something, something grand, okay? This is also you making progress. That you're deciding now that you are going to take matters into your own hands just like this Queen of Swords and really set yourself, I mean, set out on a journey of discovery, finding pieces of yourself that have been lost. And like I said, some of you are leaving home or you're returning home or could be leaving home, but there's something about home that is going to bring you closer to your expansion. Okay, so this is a time for you to conquer, to explore new ground, to push beyond your limits, um, to set goals, to just discover different aspects of yourself and your happiness here um, after after the storm. Okay, some of you some of you have been through a storm. Some of, some of you are pretty steady, but I definitely feel a new energy that is coming in for you. Okay, so that is message three. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this reading has been helpful. 
um, for you or to you. If it if it is, be sure to send me a comment or shoot me a comment or post your comment below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Enjoy this spring equinox and this spring season. I'm I'm very sure I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon. Take care, guys. Many blessings and love and light. Peace.